Welcome, and in this lesson, we're gonna learn about a few different container runtimes. Now, remember what I said. Containers are only utilizing functions built within the Linux kernel. For example, control groups and namespaces. Just because Docker is utilizing those in their runtime libraries doesn't necessarily mean it's the only way to have containers and run containers. So let's take a quick overview of a few of the available container runtimes and talk about a few of the differences associated with it. First, we have Linux containers, which is gonna be the closest container technology that's gonna let us mimic a complete virtual machine. It's considered an OS level virtualization technology, which allows us to create and run multiple isolated Linux environments on a single host. Now, these types of containers can be used to either sandbox specific applications or even to emulate an entirely new virtual machine. And that Linux containers uses Linux control groups functionality, and that was actually introduced inside of our kernel version 2.6.24 and newer. Now, it allows the host CPU to use a better partition memory allocation and isolation levels. And we do have a course on Linux Academy over Linux containers. Now ContainerD, ContainerD is actually the replacement for Docker's container technology. Originally Docker was using and built on Linux containers, but they since created their own and they open sourced it. So there's two components of this. You have the first low level container runtime called RunC, which is doing the real legwork. And then you have the control daemon for run C, which is container D. And so if you think of another layer of abstraction, think of using the Docker command line, which is the Docker API. When you make a Docker command at the command line or an API call, it's using container D to communicate with run C to perform the tasks of creating and running and doing all of the container actions. And that again is at the core of our Docker engine. And next we have RKT, which is pronounced Rocket. Now Rocket is officially supported by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Now one of the core differences between Rocket and ContainerD is that ContainerD is a control daemon for Run C. But Rocket runs more like Run C and can actually be controlled and manipulated through System D interactions, whereas Docker cannot and relies on the Docker API. So Kubernetes, which is a container orchestration tool and how we really run, if we're not using Docker Swarm, containers inside of production supports Container D and RKT containers. So that means, of course, it supports Docker since Container D is at the core of Docker. So that concludes it for this lesson. Go ahead and complete this lesson and move on.